Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to run Bleach Brave Souls on Steam. How to set up your how to set up your controller as well, like your PS4 controller. I haven't tested Xbox, so it might be different, but it could be the same thing. So I'm just gonna tell you guys and show you guys how to start it up, how to set everything up, and how I feel about it. So for starters, this may look very weird right now. Um, I've made a video, but it cut like half of the screen off. I don't know why. So um, may look a little bit weird, but we're just gonna be focusing on focusing on Steam right here. So number one, you just want to download Steam if you don't already. If you haven't downloaded Steam, just go to um, Google Chrome, type in Steam download, download it, log in or make an account, and then just go to store type in bleach brave souls and it should just pop up immediately download it and it should pop up right here like this or it'll probably let me see if it'll work no okay okay it'll, it'll probably pop up like this uh you just want to click bleach brave souls and this little thing up here if you guys can see it if not it's the top right corner it's called big picture mode it's to the right side of your email uh, you're just gonna click on that and it's gonna come up oh shoot sorry if you guys heard that I'm gonna turn that down sorry if you guys heard that uh, it's gonna come up with this so I don't know how it's recording right now it might be cut off right here so I'm just gonna try to guide you through it the best way possible so it's gonna pop up with this All right the screen right here so the first thing that you want to do is hit this little settings bar um, right next to the little power button switch so you want to hit this uh, you want to go to controller settings and then it's gonna come up like this so you're gonna have your PlayStation Xbox switch and then generic gamepad configuration um, if you're using your ps4 controller which I will be using now like I said I don't know how it is with Xbox it could be the same exact thing um, if you're using your ps4 you just need a regular uh, like Android USB charger I'll put up a little um, picture on the screen just so you guys can see a closer image so you're just gonna need one of these regular Android charger uh, not a type C but you're just gonna plug this this end into your controller and then the other end is gonna go into your PC so you're just gonna plug it right in and it should pop up down on the bottom that it was detected right there so detected controllers PlayStation 4 controller so that's it all you got to do is just choose the which one you want so I want PlayStation make sure it's checked and then that's it so you go back you go back okay all right fine all right I'm using my controller now so hit back again and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to library and then you're gonna see bleach brave souls you want to click that and then before you get into it, go to manage game and then controller configuration right there underneath steam input. So right here, you're going to be able to choose. I don't know if you guys can see it, but like I said, I'm going to just kind of be telling you guys the best way possible of where everything is. Cause I don't know if it's capturing that certain part. So it's going to pop up like this on the bottom. It's going to, it's going to show select and then it's going to say browse configs. So you want to click that, the browse configurations, and it's going to come up with all this. I recommend this one right here uh, under Lee Howe. Um, that's probably the best one that I could find and that really works with the controller. So I would choose that one. So you just press um, either click it on your, um, on your mouse or just press X on your controller. So um okay i can't really see it's cut off on the bottom but it's gonna say apply configuration so you want to apply it and that's it that's all you got to do everything's set i think you can like change the inputs or what everything does but um i would just leave it it works for me hopefully it works for you guys as well um so you're just gonna hit done and then you're gonna start up bleach break tools so i'm actually going to Sorry if the screen just looks so weird right now, <laughs> but hopefully that works right there. And then I'm just gonna minimize this. So if you already downloaded it, 
you can just press game start and it'll just bring you in your account but you will probably just have to do a quick um quick download if you're starting a new account so i think this button this little thing makes it like full screen but i don't want to risk anything happening so i'm just going to leave it like this you're going to be using your mouse to click on everything for gameplay wise you're going to be using your controller so right here you can't like i can't i can't make it go to the main screen i can click these it'll just do that so anything here like if you're trying to do summons or you're trying to go to your orders or you're trying to do anything there it's gonna be with your mouse so um start in here like i said click in anything it's with your mouse um it looks really clean i really really like it um it's not as you know user friendly as the phone not as portable obviously but um it looks really really good and let's say that you know you want to make your own videos and you have your mic and your webcam but you don't have your elgato you can just download obs and do window capture and you can just you know use this you don't need a 200 dollars elgato like it it helps a lot there's probably some glitches in here and there's some stuff that you can't really do as fluent as the phone but it's still really really cool let's see if i can do and show you guys how it looks i'll just I'll, I'll do a single or something like that it looks really clean i mean from my view of it it looks really clean but oh man i don't know if maybe it's just because it's on a bigger screen and it's just like ooh, you know you're used to it on a phone and blah 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 but it looks so nice it looks so i mean the outer parts of them are kind of whatever but that's not a huge deal really clean really fluent i like it a lot we're gonna get into gameplay right now so i can show you guys everything um like i said you can't really click anything here with your controller you have to use your mouse let's do let's do this one it's not gonna be too too hard but at least i can show you guys everything all right so if you are using your um keyboard the controls that you are going to be using mainly if uh, I don't know if you can kind of configure them yourselves and like, you know, what what buttons do what and this and that. But if you're using your keyboard, the keys that you're going to be using, the ones that I found is A, S, D, F, R, two and three and then the space bar. So the little arrows on your keyboard, you can move around like this. I'm sorry if you can hear me clicking and everything like that um you can move around like that it's not as it's I, I i don't prefer doing that you can use your mouse as well to do that you can also use it to flash step as well like that so a is going to be your first strong attack s will be your second d will be your third f is going to be your flash step as well if you don't want to um use your mouse or anything so f is going to be that r is your special um i'm not going to use that right now because i only get one of these um and then let's say that you want yodoichi you want to go to yodoichi but you don't want to go and click click on her just press the number three bam again sorry you're probably hearing my clicking in the microphone uh let's say by some random chance you want to use this ichigo just press number two and it goes there you want this ichigo back press three so that's really really cool and the space bar is your normal attack so if you're just going you know you can kind of just if you're a pc gamer and you're using the keyboard and mouse this will be like this will be nothing to you guys this will be very easy for those of you who are like what the heck like this is going to take some time to get used to that's why you got the controller so the controller um you're just going to be using this to move around and I feel like the controller is much easier, but you're just gonna be using this to just move around. Um, these do something, but I wouldn't really focus on them because you have everything in such a short, like you have this to move around. These are your attacks and this is your flash step. So what is that? R1 is your flash step, which will be this, this one right here, R1. R1 is gonna be flash step. Um, R2 is gonna be your special. So you hit R2. And if you want to skip it, R2 again. By the way, that looked really, really clean. Um, L2 is to pause it. 
press L2 again to unpause it. So flash step, you get to move around and everything. So X is going to be your normal attack. I think it's A on Xbox, if I'm correct. Um, A is your normal attack. Um, square is going to be your first. Triangle will be your second. And then obviously um, O is going to be your third. It looks really, really clean on here. And honestly, it'll, it'll definitely take some time to get used to. I don't really think that, you know, I mean, maybe people will be able to do um, send Kaimon on it and stuff like that, but it'll definitely take some time to get used to. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it for... Actually, I want to see if I can... Okay, so if you're trying to skip, you're trying to skip the uh, uh, little monologue thing, whatever you want to call it, you have to use the mouse. But uh, I'm pretty sure you can tinker with that and do something like controller. Yeah, I mean, the controller makes it a lot easier, in my opinion, it's a lot easier than the, the keyboard and mouse, but, um, yeah, you pretty much have to use your mouse with anything else on here, which is not a big deal, but, um, that's, that's pretty much how to use it. It's really clean. I like it a lot with the mouse, like I said, it's much better in my opinion, but, yeah, so I think that's pretty much all there is to cover on here. I'm not too sure what else there is um if there is something i missed please let me know down below and let me know if this helped you guys in any chance if it didn't and you're still confused um leave a comment down below i'll leave my twitter in the description so you can you know add me and maybe i could try to help in some way but my final thoughts is i really like it um i will try to be using it as much as possible and figure it out with um, streaming and everything because I think it'll be really, really clean and really fun to try and use with the controller. Um, but I still prefer the phone better, obviously, because it's, you know, you can bring it around anywhere and everywhere. So I really like it. And like I said before, I know I keep going back to it, but if you're trying to do any videos on YouTube and everything, I know there's a screen capture thing on the phone. But if you get your mic, your webcam, you don't got an Elgato, you don't need one. You can just do it like this, which is really, really nice. So I think that'll do it. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys did download, download Steam, I hope you are enjoying it. Let me know down below in the comments if you are and if you aren't, why you aren't and what do you think they can do kind of different. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.